to stop our battle. I've been a fan of the Pokemon series since I was five years old, back when the original TV show initially aired, guys. I have been excited for Pokemon Violet and Scarlet for a very long time now, so it pains me to say this when I say that these games are the biggest disappointments in the entire franchise's history, okay? We haven't had a good mainline Pokemon game since Gen 5. This game does have a lot of good Okay, I'm not saying the games are complete trash, and I'm gonna get into all the good in a bit, but there is some extremely serious problems and underlying issues with this game and the series in general that I just need to discuss and get off my chest because Game Freak needs to get their act together. And this series, it needs to do better, okay? First major issue, okay, I'm not even talking about all the performance and frame rate issues, which there are a bunch of, don't get me wrong, okay? My number one issue with this game, and this series in general, is just the overall laziness of it. Take for example, Breath of the Wild, another major Nintendo first party IP. This game came out over half a decade ago, back in 2017. It has been over five years now. And guess what? That game still looks and runs a hundred times better than these games do, okay? And disregarding that, just the lack of voice acting, okay, it's 2022, and this multi-billion dollar franchise, which makes more money for Nintendo than any of their other major franchises, including Zelda, Fire Emblem, Smash Bros, Mario, etc. right? This is their biggest franchise, yet they treat it like shit, okay? No voice acting, a lack of proper animations. They're too lazy to properly animate any of the cutscenes in the game, okay? They'll have just a group of people standing around and they'll just stand there with text bubbles and be like, oh no, with the shocked expression on their face, with their mouth sticking open, and then the screen will fade to black because they're so fucking lazy that they can't even take the time to animate a, a scene like this. So they just fade to black and there's no excuse for this series to look worse than a Switch game from over five years ago. That's just ridiculous. Now, going into just the fundamental issues with the game itself, take for example, the Elite Four. Since Gen 1, every single Pokemon game has had a proper Elite Four. Different rooms for every trainer, an actual victory road leading up to the Elite Four, so you actually feel a sense of accomplishment when you get there, right? It was actually supposed to be a challenge. You were actually supposed to work yourself up to it and work your way there. In this game, what do they do? Just skip all of it entirely. They're so lazy that there's not even a single cave. Not a single fucking cave or any sort of victory road at all. You go to the, the um, Elite Four and outside of the Pokemon Center, it's just you walk into the building, immediately, boom, you start, you fight them. And they don't even give them separate rooms. There's no sense of specialness or individu individuality between any of the Elite Four members at all. It's just the same basic ass room. You fight one of them, they call the next guy in, rinse and repeat, and then you go upstairs to fight the Elite Four champion. That's literally it. So it's not even a, a fucking victory road, okay? There's literally no story in this game at all. It's, oh, you're a student, you're going to this UVA Academy, right? Go find your treasure. And then they let you out into the world and they call it a day and that's that. Outside of like a few very, very minor interruptions with your rival, right? A few battles here or there, there's literally nothing that happens. You literally just go around the world exploring, doing the Pokemon gym battles. And there's like a few Titans you can beat and 
a few bases for Team Star that you can beat. And that's literally it. There's literally no fucking story, okay? It's just find your treasure, have fun. So the main story itself is literally non-existent. The major team, like the, the team villains, Team Star, worst team villain in the series' is history, right? They literally don't do jack shit the entire fucking game. There's like one scene in the very beginning of the game where they're harassing someone for like two minutes trying to get them to join Team Star and being delinquents. And that's literally it. The rest of the entire game, Team Star literally just stay on their base. Like they literally just stay in their base and they don't do fucking shit. They don't interact with you. They don't cause any issues. They literally just stay on their base and do literally nothing. And they wait for you to get there. They wait for you to come to them and beat their ass. And when you beat their ass, a two minute cutscene appears. Also really shittily animated, no voice acting. It's like in black and white shit too. It's not even properly colored, right? There's, there's no color to it. And it's literally just them trying to make you feel some sort of sympathy for the Team Star members. Oh, this guy was bullied, blah, blah, blah. So he joined Team Star to rebel against his fucking classmates in the fucking school. And then there's another scene where it's one of the Team Star members talking about how they feel worthless and pathetic and how they, they're not worthy of being part of Team Star. And then the other Team Star members are like, oh no, we love you, you're so important to us, you're our best friend, friends forever, and a bunch of other gay shit. And then that's literally it. That's, that's literally all Team Star is. Five different Team Star bases, you beat their leader, there's a small shitty cutscene that plays with like a teeny, 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 teeny bit of backstory. The literally most bare minimum basic lazy effort I've ever seen in my fucking life and that's it. The entire game, the entire story, they don't do anything. There's no overarching plot, there's no grand scheme, there's nothing. Just collect the badges, beat the Team Star members, and then that's literally it. And there's like five Titan Pokemon you can beat for this one guy. This story arc, it's literally just him trying to get medicine for his Pokemon dog because it's sick. So he needs these herbs. So you go around and you beat these five Titan Pokemon collecting the herbs so he can heal his Pokemon and get, get him healthy again. You do that, it's over with. That's it, that's literally it. So there's like technically three story arcs one is with Team Star, it's literally complete shit. There's literally no story outside of like two minutes worth of cutscenes and they're not important. And then it's the Titan Pokemon, but it's just, oh, give me herbs for my Pokemon so it feels better. And then, oh, find your treasure. That's literally it. They could have done so many cool things with the story and they didn't do anything with it. There's so much wasted potential. Now, the act of exploring the world and catching Pokemon is still f as fun as ever, right? The, you know, the new region is great. While the graphics might suck ass, the art style's pretty good. It does look better than Gen 8 and Legends Arceus, so that's a plus. I mean, I, I mean, the graphics in those games are horrible too, so it's not really saying much, but hey, I mean, it is an improvement somewhat. There are a few areas of the game that do look pretty nice, right? The new Pokemon, there's plenty of new interesting Pokemon to catch. I do love some of the new designs, right? But I mean, outside of that and a few minor quality of life changes that are good, the game is just shit. Collecting Pokemon is fun. Exploring the open world is fun. For the first time we get an actual proper open world in the Pokemon game, that was fun. That was good. That's literally the only good thing in this game though. Graphics are shit. Animation is shit frame rate and the performance is fucking shit the story is non-existent and shit the main villains are fucking shit their story arc is fucking shit they don't do jack fucking shit like literally, literally everything about it is just fucking lazy and like i said before when they just cut to black and they don't even animate the cutscenes, like come on man this game literally looks worse than mobile games on your phone from 2015. A multi-billion uh, multi dollar franchise this big literally looking worse than games from six years ago, also on the Switch. There's no excuse for this. And it's just like there's one cutscene in the very beginning of the game when you literally first get into the academy and you're being introduced to your classroom for the first time. And there's like a, a cutscene where the camera like zooms out and it shows everyone in the class sitting in their seats with their, their legs moving. And I kid you not, this is the worst shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. 
not only does the frame rate drop to like five frames, and that's being generous, right? When it shows your classmates in their seats with their legs moving, it is so choppy and lazily done, like I was shocked. I was literally like, wait, is my game glitching out? Is like is this a bug or does it genuinely look this atrocious? It's like 10 people in the classroom with their legs moving in like three to five frames per second, choppy as fuck with their mouths wide open making a dumbass expression with an ah text bubble. 2022 guys, full price to boy game. And this is the lazy shit they come up with. You know, the fact that it's not even a victory road, there's not a single cave or dungeon in the game. It's just like, they reverted all the positive changes from Legends Arceus, all the positive, like, you know, implementations of catching Pokemon, the being able to throw Pokeballs at them and catch them without fighting them, the new quick and ad, uh, the new agile and strong functions to the combat, all the innovations gone. They reverted back. Like, <sighs> Game Freak is incompetent as fuck or they're just lazy, or Nintendo isn't giving them a big enough budget, or not enough time, or it's just a mix of all these. I don't know. All I know is that there is no excuse for this. I love this series to death. I love this franchise, and I'm tired of putting up with this shit. All the people saying, it's made for kids, it's a kid's game. That's an excuse. Stop defending this lazy piece of shit. Stop defacing, uh, defending this lazy, crappy franchise that used to be great. Gen 1 is still better than this shit. Gen 2 is literally every single fucking gen, even fucking Gen 8 is better than this. Like, <laughs> outside of it being the first truly open world Pokemon game and having some cool new Pokemon designs, that's literally the only benefit this game has. It's only positive. 2022 and this game is still shit. They need to get Monolith Studios to work with them or something. The next Pokemon game needs to have voice acting, proper animations with the cutscenes, the graphics need to be at least on par with Breath of the Wild from 2017, which isn't asking for much. And the, the performance needs to be better. This game had so much potential, so many good things they could have done, and they fucked it up. As a wise, man's, uh, as a wise man once said, holy crap, sorry for stuttering, you done fucked it up. You done fucked it up! Anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Sorry for all the negativity, it's just... I love these games, and I love this franchise, and I want them to do better. They need to do better, and in order for them to do better, and these games to get better, we need to call them out on their shit. You know, we can't defend this shit. We need to be harsh, we need to be blunt. Defending this crap is just going to continue to encourage them to release more lazy shit. But yeah, anyways, what have you guys thoughts on the games? What do you guys think about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? Do you guys agree with what I said? Do you guys disagree? Do you guys enjoying the game? Do you guys hate the game? Do you guys have it? Are you guys not going to get it at all? What are you guys hopes for the next game? I'd love to hear your guys thoughts down in the comment section below. And yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time on my next video. This is Dark Haven signing out. Have a good one, and happy Thanksgiving.